In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this house designed for Habitat for Humanity. I'm going to show you how to build it in Revit. For more information on this house, you can open up this file. It's a Word document. It's located in your Documents folder. Uh, 2.3.1 Affordable House Site Plan. It shows the site where we're going to be building our house. Start out by going to Revit and open this file here, HFH. It's in your Documents folder. Once it's open, uh, go to the File menu and Save As. Save it as a project, but append your initials to the end of the file. I am looking at the site level, and uh, I brought in the uh, what was shown in that Word document, the site plan. I'm going to draw the outline of the house here on the site using model lines. Draw a rectangle. Uh, the house is going to be 26 feet here in this dimension, and this dimension is going to be 39 feet 3 inches. This is going to be the front of the house, and I want to plant uh, a lot of trees in this side of the house to shade it from the uh, southern exposure. My parking area is going to be uh, over here in this area. So I'm going to move the house just slightly. You could position it as you like. Set it about there. These are the setbacks. You can't build uh, beyond these lines. I'm going to leave a little bit of clearance here. Once you've situated the house where you want it, uh, create reference planes. The reference planes will be visible on all levels. And extend these lines. Now that I have my reference planes, I could actually delete these lines here, the model lines. And now if I go to my first foot, my uh, bottom footing level where I'm going to start my house, uh, you'll see that the, re the reference planes um, are visible there. They're um, visible at all levels. But the site is only visible on the site plan. It's not visible on the other levels. Uh, select bottom of footing. Uh, go to wall. And uh, go all the way to the bottom and select this stacked foundation wall concrete. So the base constraint should be bottom of footing. Set the top constraint to uh, top of foundation. And we're going to create a rectangle. And we'll be aligning it later. Just draw a rectangle in here like this. Hit modify twice to get out of that command. You want to make sure that the double blue arrows are on the outside of the wall. And they are. I'm going to do use my line command. Before I do that, let me go ahead 
and uh, pin these lines. Use my line command. I'm going to line to that reference plane, and I want to choose this outside edge of the foundation wall. And I want to lock it. Lock it. Lock it. I'm going to have one foundation wall running right down the center of this um, of the the house and create some model lines uh, from here to here and then I'm going to look for the center of this line and just draw a model line all the way down straight now I'm going to go back to my uh, walls and I'm going to choose the same settings as before, bottom of footing and top of foundation. I'm going to make sure that the line location is core center line and then I'm going to draw a line from there and it should be centered to there. I hit escape twice. If I go to 3D, uh, you can see your, found, your foundation. And there's your foundation. It should look like that. I go ahead and delete these model lines. So I'm going to have an access hatch to go down from the first floor down into the crawl space for maintenance and repairs. But once I'm down into in, in the crawl space, I need to be able to get to the other side of this wall. So I'm going to create an opening in this on in this foundation wall. And uh, what's called out on the instructions is 36 inches wide and 24 inches tall. I'm going to go to components, a model in place, and I'm going to model a wall. It's actually a wall opening but I'm gonna create a void and I'll call it a crawl space, crawl space opening, select okay. I'm gonna create a, uh, a void form, a void extrusion. I'm gonna set my work plane. I'm gonna pick a plane, select okay, and I'm gonna Pick this wall here. I'm going to create a rectangle. Zoom in. And it's three feet by two feet. Like that. Select the check once, only once. I'm going to cut material away. Now I need to select my geometry, so I'm going to select that geometry. And I need to select the wall that I'm going to cut. I'm going to select that wall. And there's my opening. I'm going to finish. I'm going to go to uh, first floor. I'm going to put down my floor. I go to architecture, to floors. Uh, I'm going to use this floor, generic 12 inch lumber. I'm going to pick lines. I'm going to pick this line. Pick the four reference lines. 
and I'm going to trim them. Hit the green check. I'm going to go back to the first floor. Go to wall. Select this wall here, exterior stucco, two by six wood stud. And once again, I'm going to uh, use uh, pick lines. I'm going to do core base exterior. I'm going to pick the four lines, the four reference planes, and I'm going to trim. I'm going to select each wall and verify that these blue lines are on the outside. In that case, they are. In this case, it's not, so I have to flip them. And um, I'm going to select, hover over one wall, hit tab, select all the walls and verify that the, uh, the base constraint is first floor and the top constraint is top of plate. Go to 3D and my house should look like this. One thing I want to do, I want to extend the exterior sheathing down to cover the, the floor and the floor joists and the mud cell. Actually, this is not a, it is sheathing, but on the outside is stucco. So I'm going to uh, hover over one wall, tab, select all the walls, and I'm going to change my base extension to a minus one foot, two inches. And that'll hide the, the exposed floor.